Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary. Amber here with your word for the day. And today we're looking at Matthew 21, where Jesus cleanses the temple. And we're going to focus on verses 12 and 13, but I encourage you to read the whole passage yourself. And so it says, And Jesus entered the temple and drove out all who sold and bought in the temple. And he overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold pigeons. He said to them, It is written, My house shall be called a house of prayer but you make it a den of robbers. See, these people were profiting off abusing other people. People had traveled all over to come to Jerusalem to offer sacrifices to God as their act of worship. And these money changers and Pharisees were saying, what you're bringing as a sacrifice to God isn't good enough. Uh, They were judging what they, they were bringing to God to sacrifice and saying, You actually have to purchase our animals that are qualified to be used as sacrifices, but they were doing it to make a profit. Um, And so this made Jesus angry, and he responded in the way he did. He was acting in a prophetic way uh, to fulfill what was said here um, and to cleanse the temple of the sin. And so a question is, what causes you to get angry? Because what makes you angry reveals your heart. See, Jesus responded in anger because it was a righteous, godly anger. See, a lot of times we think all anger is sin, but Ephesians 4.26 says, be angry and do not sin. So not all anger is sin. And so, but a lot of times the way we respond in anger is sin. Either we want to take revenge or we want to act in the place of God and enact justice in our own timing instead of allowing God to be the perfect justice and judge for every sin. And so a lot of times we respond to anger because of selfish reasons, whether it's someone's driving slow in front of us or our spouse leaves clothes on the floor or someone gets our order wrong at a restaurant or maybe music's too loud or whatever it is. Anytime we get angry because of selfish reasons, that's sin. A righteous, godly anger would be something that... uh, angers God, something that goes against God and who he is and what the Bible says. So an example would be uh, of abuse, just like the people here were abusing people and taking advantage of them. Um, And and a horrific act of violence um, would be cause for just righteous anger, Uh, corruption, manipulation, things like that are a just righteous anger. But in that anger, we have to respond in a way that is not sinful. Just like Jesus did here. Jesus was perfect and he never sinned. So even in this moment, he's not sinning because he is always perfect. Um, And so in our righteous anger, we need to surrender to God and trust him saying, God, this makes me angry because this grieves you and it's sin against you. And so that angers me against this sin. But in our response, we need to choose not to sin, but trust God that he is the perfect judge and that he will judge everything in his time and trust him and surrender and choose to respond in a way that glorifies and honor God. So today, will you allow God to reveal in your heart if there's any anger that you need to deal with? Will you allow Christ to come in and and deal with any sin that's in your heart? Um, Surrender yourself to God Submit everything in your life to God and allow him to evaluate your life and eval him, let him reveal anything that's in your life that you need to surrender and submit to him so that you can take that next step of obedience in following him. Have a great day, Calvary.